Hi everybody, my name is Manny Simone with the South Florida Blade for Hot Spots Media Group. And today I'm gonna to be bringing you the headlines that you need to know. Thanks so much for being with me today. And please remember to protect yourself and others by following CDC guidelines to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. Now, let's get to the headlines. Weighing privacy issues, a federal appeals court has sided with a transgender student who argued his constitutional rights were violated when the St. John's County School District prevented him from using the boys' restroom at his high school. The two-to-one decision by a panel of the 11th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld a lower court ruling that the district violated the equal protection rights of recent Nice High School graduate Drew Adams and went against a federal anti-discrimination law known as Title IV. Two people charged in connection with the beating of a gay Oklahoma realtor are not expected to face hate crime charges despite the victim and a witness relaying that the assailants hurled anti-LGBTQ slurs before and during the assault. Even if police had noted allegations of a hate crime in their arrest report, state law does not extend protections against hate crimes to LGBTQ plus people. The victim, Christian Council, maintains his attackers were motivated by hate. According to a new BBC survey, British female athletes say they could be more open about their sexuality than male athletes, and only a minimal number of them say their sexuality has negatively impacted them in their sport. More than two-thirds of respondents, 68%, say that they feel women athletes can be more forthcoming about their sexuality than men. Encouragingly, just 6.5% of respondents said they think their sexuality has negatively impacted their athletic prospects. The South Florida Blade is proudly sponsored by SunServe Mental Health and Social Services for the LGBTQ plus community. Learn more at sunserve.org. SunServe is truly a community-based organization founded by us for us and based on this value that everyone, regardless of their status or their ability to pay, deserves exactly the same high quality care. And always that will be what drives SunServe. Democrat Albert Chester, a candidate in Florida's 5th Congressional District primary race, is drawing fire after numerous anti-LGBTQ posts on social media were found. A group of progressive Bernie Sanders supporters called Florida for Bernie endorsed Chester in the upcoming primary, but has since yanked their support. The advocates who found the post are members of the organization. Chester's anti-LGBTQ plus posts range from dismissing coming out to comparing gay folks to Lucifer. A survey of 10,000 people across the U.S. conducted by HRC and PSB Insights found that black LGBTQ respondents fared worse than both the black population and the LGBTQ plus population along every economic indicator measured. The study found that black LGBTQ people were more likely to have had their jobs affected by the pandemic. Over 36% of black LGBTQ respondents reported having changed their household budgets compared to 27% of all black respondents and 30% of LGBTQ plus respondents. And finally, this week from the world of entertainment, the co-director of the popular Matrix trilogy, Lily Wachowski, confirmed that the sci-fi series is a transgender allegory. Responding to a question posed about this Matrix fan theory, Wachowski said she was glad that it had gotten out that that was the original intention. She said the Matrix series was about a desire for transformation, but it was all coming from a closeted point of view. The fourth Matrix film is slated for release in 2022. Okay, folks, that wraps up this edition of the South Florida Blade for Hotspots Media Group. Please check us out online at hotspots.lgbt for continuous updates and breaking news. You can also follow us on social media to stay up to date on what's happening in your community. I'm your anchor, Manny Simone, and thank you so much for being with me today. Don't forget to catch Sean Palacios on Hotspots Live each Monday for your guide to local entertainment. I look forward to seeing you again next Thursday, but until then, stay safe and be well.